So one style that I've been wanting to attempt recently is the R&B club beats that were popular like five years ago. I think the best reference I can think of is No Guidance by Chris Brown and Drake. I'm kind of obsessed with that instrumental. Like it's made by some of my favorite producers. But in today's one, I'm going to be trying to make a beat in the style of Chris Brown and Drake. No Guidance features a male vocal sample. So I want something similar to that. It's gonna be so difficult to find anything that's even close. So I'm gonna open up Splice and see what I can find. Oh, no. I mean, obviously it's too short, but something like that would be pretty cool. This is nice. Okay, I like the chord change at the end now. I might be able to do something with that. What's the BPM? 109, okay. I'm going to extract the stems from the sample. Now, I think it might be time to try out some new technology. Now, obviously, this is a female sample, but for this beat, I really want a male vocal just for that difference in texture, even though when you pitch it up, you can't really tell the difference. So my solution for this is the online web tool, Audemy. From my understanding, it uses AI to isolate and convert vocals into a wide variety of different voices. Now, I've used this a couple times, and I'm not really an expert at this because there's a bit of a learning curve. Until recently, the only experience I had with AI was seeing those spooky images on Twitter with like nine fingers. What I've seen so far from this tool, just from experimenting, very impressive. Like, I'm gonna be real, this is way too much power for one person. I should probably try it out again. Um, so I'm in the create vocals menu, and of course I've got my very diverse group of people. I'm gonna go with this guy. Feel free to ignore my input history, by the way. That was for, um, research purposes. So all I'm gonna do now is drag the isolated female vocal into Audemy, and we'll see how it turns out. Avoid beginner mistakes. Watch the tutorial. Anyway, like I've done this enough times, I know roughly what I'm doing. So for female vocals, if you're converting them to male, you're going to want to pitch them down slightly. I think like roughly five semitones should be fine. Although I don't know why, but this works really well for like one shots and stuff like that. Let me see if I can find an example. Oh no. Oh no. Like that is kind of ridiculous to be honest. Looking for a lifeline. Looking for a lifeline. Like it's cool, obviously, it's really impressive. Like, I feel like I of all people should not have access to this tool. And with some effects as well, that would sound cold. So real quick, I'm gonna drag my female vocal sample into order me and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, this is ridiculous. It's quite validating as well, honestly. Because when I listened to the female vocal sample, I had no idea what she was saying. But bro, the AI doesn't know what she's saying either, so it's fine. I mean, more time he's not even saying words, he's just vocalizing, but that's all I need. Like, I even picked a difficult one for the video. Like, I can definitely use this. First thing I'm gonna do is stretch this out to four bars. I'm gonna try and get it as close as I can to the original reference vocal. I might just whack this up an octave, bro. I mean, it kind of defeats the point of swapping the gender of it, but it's fine. Probably the most difficult part is trying to find a chord progression that matches these vocals. I'm thinking this one in Serum, maybe. That's better. I'm just going to copy this over and add variation. Okay. I think I'm going to try and layer the chords with something. I mean, this one's more of a keyboard than a pad, but I think it should still work. Okay. I mean, this is not an arpeggiator, but I'm gonna layer it anyway. something a bit more alien sounding though so i'm gonna keep looking that will do i'm just gonna keep copying and pasting the chords on a second for the last two pads that i added i'll probably just throw a portal on it or something later all right my favorite part now 
just to clear something up. I've gotten a lot of messages and comments about this bass line. I did not make this. It's in this pack in Serum. And there's a lot of nice sounds in this pack, honestly. Anyway, moving on. up quickly. To be honest, this bass line makes the beat so much darker. Yet, to be honest, I don't really have too much else to add. So real quick, I'm gonna mix everything down, arrange the beat, and we can see what it sounds like. That took a long time. As I mentioned previously, through some portal onto the syncopated pad. I also cloned the vocal and just dropped it an octave. I also added this small percussion loop. And it sounds kind of tinny. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but we'll just see what it sounds like in the final beat. I also cut out a couple of drum breaks here just so you can hear the bass line properly. I also tested the beat out with the female vocal. I don't know why it just doesn't hit the same. It doesn't have that like Shea Ekru effect. <laughs> I had a very different idea in mind for this beat. I didn't really want it to be that aggressive or this dark, but I think the chord progression still works really well with the vocal, so I don't mind. I also really like the male vocal sample. I didn't want to overuse it because I thought it would get repetitive. I think my favorite feature of this beat so far, definitely the vocal and maybe the bass line as well. The bass line is still pretty good. But of course, a big thank you to Order Me for making this video possible. Overall, it's a really versatile tool and has a range of applications that's completely different to what I showed in this video. Like, I'm sure you could probably get really creative with it. I'm sort of learning that if I don't start using these AI tools, I'm eventually going to be replaced by like a UK drill beat bot.
bot or something like that. Wait, you can create your own voices? Ah, uh, bro, I tell you what. Uh, I'm gonna be making some Ronald Reagan type beats. Fun from over the hedge type beats, you know? I think I've done enough talking for now. Once again, thank you for watching. If you're interested in using any of the tools seen in this video, there'll be an affiliate link in the description that gives you a discount on the plans that are available. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. So I'm gonna take a final listen to the beat and we can see what I can do better for next time. Thank you.